Hey everybody, in this episode, you are going to make an exploded view on a drawing sheet that looks like this. So you've got to start with your assembly. If you don't have an assembly done, you need to get the assembly done. This doesn't work unless you have an assembly done. So there's a video popping up somewhere above me. Click on that link if you need help with that. So now let's make an exploded view. First couple of things are you can click this to get it to go away. If you ever need it, you can click it back. And over here on the right side, there's a couple buttons. You want to go exploded view. Next thing you want to do is hit add exploded view. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit with my mouse with the roller. Click it one time and you want to start exploding it or taking it apart realistically. And exploded views, you've seen exploded views if you've ever played with Legos before. So you can't go through the part. You got to go like me in this part. And then I'm going to hit the check mark. I'm going to click it again. I'm going to bring it this way. Um, your top part, you might have to go back and up to the left. It just kind of depends on what the shape looks like. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on I'm going to click on this red part and I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to hit OK. You can notice you can also like type in numbers so it'll give you exact distances. Um, you might also notice that there's this. If you click on that, it spins it. And I don't know if you want to do that. I don't. It'll work in like other cool things. Let's go I'm going to move this back and kind of zoom back a little bit. So one thing I mentioned is you want to keep it as realistic as possible. Again, I don't want to go down through parts. I want to go up a little bit, and then I'm going to click again and bring this screen part over. Um, and then I'm going to bring this over and... Okay, so we're moving this part, and I'm hitting the check mark. Now, you're going to want to make sure that you're in your isometric view, and... You also want to make sure that like your parts are far enough apart that you can like see them easily. So that's all nice. And it, like I said earlier, it's kind of like putting Legos together. It kind of shows you the lines and where things connect. So uh, I'm going to be done with that. I like I like how it looks. You kind of decide on your part and and what you like. The next thing you're going to do is hit this down arrow here and make it isometric if you haven't already. Hit it again and name the view. And I'm going to make this name it explode. Hit the plus sign. Okay. Next thing we need to do is hit this plus and go to create drawing. I encourage my students to use this NSI in the inches. So make sure you're clicked on that and hit OK. And this takes a little while load. All right, now that it's loaded, I'm going to hit assembly and I'm going to bring in an assembly. And when I click this right up there and I hit escape, that doesn't give a very good view and it's not exploded. So it's not really what I want. So double click it. And then I'm going to change from the front view to an isometric. And it just takes a second. I'm going to hit the green checkbox. I'm going to move this over. Okay. As you can see, it's taking up 25% of my page. And down here, I've got my labels, and it's already filled out some of the information for me. So that's a little big. So another thing you can do is you can change the scale of this. So I'm going to double click on that if you haven't done that yet. And I'm going to change this to a half scale. And you can see it sizes it up pretty nicely. And I'm going to add that. Okay. Now I'm going to add the exploded view. So go up here and hit the insert view. Um, I want to go to isometric. And then I want to go from the default, there it is. It takes a second for it to load and you to see it if you want it like that. Um, and I want to change this from default to exploded. And again, it's going to take a second to load. And you can see, holy cow, this takes up like the entire sheet. So if you haven't changed your scale, now is the time to change your scale. So I'm going to change this to a half scale, one to two. 
and I'm going to just click it one time. And now I'm done. Now I can see where the parts go, how they go together. Um, now I can start putting them together um, and I can see that this green part right here is going to go on top of this white part and this yellow part. And now I have an answer key. All right. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, and we're done.